Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my go-to skincare. My skincare routine changes constantly, so this is my current skincare routine, and let's just jump right in. This is the first product I like to use. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids, lashes, and lips. As you can see, it's very empty, like I'm holding on to the very last bit of this, but this is genius, like this is the best thing to get your mascara off, and I love to use a cotton wool bud to do that. I then like to grab a little reusable cotton wool bud and just kind of use what's left to rub any um, excess mascara off. And then of course I do the other eye. I'm now going to take the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. It's basically like the balm but a liquid version and I'm so here for it, it's so good. And then I'm just going to take a damp cloth to wipe it all off. I just squeeze a few pumps into my hand, it's a bit weird. Um, like the consistency of it but I rub it between my hands like this and then basically the same way you would use the balm kind of just rub it in everywhere and yeah it's very oily so I don't know if it's best for people with oily skin obviously it's an oil um, but I really like this I've got quite dry skin so for me it's quite nice Then I like to take my LMS Soothing Apricot Toner. I actually got this in my ASOS advent calendar. And I have absolutely no idea what it does or what it's supposed to do. But it feels really nice, super refreshing, and it smells so good. So I always just spray a bit on after I've taken my makeup off. Once that is all soaked in, I like to take my Pixie Glow Tonic. I have a new bottle today. Um, and yeah, I just take it on a little reusable um, cotton wool pad thing and I wipe it all over my face. The only thing I will say about the Pixie Glow Tonic is that I do feel like you have to use quite a lot for it to like actually do anything. But that could just be me wanting to use a lot. <laughs> um, but I do really love this product. The next step is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. I'm not really sure what this is. Again, I got this in my ASOS advent calendar. I googled how to use it because I had no idea. I'm not very clued up with skincare. I used to just stick a bit of moisturiser on and call it a day. Um, but I'm hoping that I don't become addicted to this because if I was to buy the full version, I'm pretty sure it's going to cost about £100. It is really nice and I will use it obviously until it runs out. But so far I haven't seen like amazing results that's gonna like anything different basically that makes me think I need this but whilst I've got it I might as well use it and then the final step is my moisturizer this is the CeraVe moisturizing cream for dry to very dry skin um, yeah it's just moisturizer although the last step is usually Vaseline on my lips but I've lost it so I don't know what happened to that anyways I take a little bit and just rub it straight in. Although this moisturizer is so good for how much it costs. I'm obsessed. TikTok made me buy it and it was uh, one of the things that was actually worth buying. I've done so many things that TikTok made me like, oh that looks so good. It's like getting curtain bangs. Don't get curtain bangs people unless you have a dust air wrap. Because <laughs> you can't do anything with your curtain bangs unless you're, oh my god. Unless you're skilled with the hair dryer and the, and a hairbrush. And that is my skincare routine. I feel like I've really upgraded my skincare routine. I now have way more steps than I ever used to. I used to literally use a bit of eye makeup remover, take off my makeup, slap a bit of moisturiser on and call it a day. Now I've got a few more steps to it and my skin has been thanking me. Like, it's a lot more glowy, it's not as dull as it used to be and I'm really happy with my skin at the moment. Although I do get the odd spot when it's that time of the month but other than that, pretty happy thank you so much for watching this youtube video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe whilst you're here and follow my socials and i will see you next time let me know in the comments what videos you guys want to see and yeah bye